Very good morning to all of you boys and girls. Welcome to Unit 4 Animals. In this topic, we are going to learn about the classification of animals, then the animals eating habits, then we will go to the changes in the animals eating habits. By the way, we don't forget about the dentition of animals. Next, we are going to the new subtopic of this topic, which is a dentition of animals. Do you know the animals have a different types of teeth? Carnivores, herbivores, omnivores. As we can see in the pictures, okay, there are three types of different teeth and three types of different categories eating habits for animals. Carnivores, as we know, the animals as carnivores are eating meat. Normally, they have sharp, sharper cannons than other animals, and they have sharp cannons to tear the meat. Then we go to the herbivores. Herbivores have a strong incisors to cut plants, as we can see in the pictures. And they have big molars to grind plants for easier swallowing. Then omnivores have incisors to cut food as human. Then canines to tear meat and molars to grind food. So omnivores have a similar characteristic okay, as a human. Some hot questions for you. Higher order thinking skill. Do all omnivores have the same types of teeth as mentioned above? And why? The answer is yes. Omnivores normally they have three types of teeth, which is incisors, canines, and molars, in order to help them. Then can you compare and contrast the teeth for carnivores, herbivores, and omnivores? You may do it in the form of table or the form of pictures. After this, we are going to observe some situation mentioned. If animals had teeth that did not suit their eating habits, what would happen to these animals? Observe the situations below. Herbivores. Ah, it is so difficult for me to cut this grass. Why can't the god above cut the grass easily? As we can see in the pictures, there's a sharp cannons that the god have. Do the god have the sharp cannons? Let's think about it. Then carnivores, ah, it is wicked for me to cheer this meat, the lion say. What is it difficult for the lions above to cheer the meat? By the way, let's over observe the pictures in your textbook. The lions have a cute in kisses in front of a thief. Thus, the in kisses functions to tears food and the cannons is it help to cut the food think about it next situations for an omnivores pictures on page 66 there are two orangutans eating different types of food first my teeth can tear this fish easily but my teeth can't cut this banana. Why? Why could the orangutan above eat the fish easily but not the banana? And why do herbivores, carnivores and omnivores have different types of teeth according to their eating habits? Let's think about it. 
orang hutan cannot cut this banana easily because orang hutan orang hutan doesn't have the ink cases and why do herbivores carnivores and omnivores have different types of teeth because different types of teeth will occupy based on their eating habits if the animals only eating meats so they only occupy with the certain teeth included then we move to page 67 on your textbook changes in animals eating habits bears are naturally omnivores that eat plants and other animals as you can see in the pictures however polar bears have changed their eating habits polar bears are classified as carnivores because they eat other animals only they live in the polar regions which are always cold and covered in ice they cannot find plants because plants cannot grow in the polar regions therefore polar bears eating other animals only which means polar bears is carnivores and bears are omnivores what are the examples of the animals that have changed the, their nature's eating habits? Explain to me. Normally, if an animal changes their nature's eating habits, it's based on few factors. Maybe first, the habitat of the animals live in. A bears in Malaysia is considered as omnivores because the bears can eat fruits, grass and other animals. The polar bears is only living in the polar regions which is very cold and only covers uh, with the ice. The plants cannot grow in the polar regions. Then the polar bears are going to choose to eating other animals which is meat they prefer. So. The animals' eating habits can be changes based on their habitats. Thank you. Boys and girls, maybe you have more ideas than teachers. You may list down your comments or your ideas in your exercise book on in the piece of papers and pass up to me to check. At home, we can spend our time wisely and by doing some leisure science, which is animal teeth hand puppets. The step as listed in the pictures in your textbook page 69. Make an animal teeth hand puppet using a manila card, board, what colors, a pen brush, an adhesive tape, marker pens and the scissors. First of all, you can draw any pictures of the animals that you want to draw. For example, crocodiles, mouth. You can write, you can draw, you can sketch in a piece of papers. Then you cut into a pieces. Then you can color it based on the colors that you want. Okay, for example, crocodile, you can color it as green colors. Label the teeth. Put the eyes. Then you can make the puppets at last if you want the one to choose the crocodile you may choose monkeys rabbits and others then remember you have the notes in the last page of this topic you may take a look on it as your reference 